While Hollywood heads north for the Toronto International Film Festival next one month, there will be lots of homegrown talent as well. 26 Canadian films going to be screened at TIFF this year. The lineup was unveiled today, and CTV's Dana Levinson was there. It's just a dream. It was the best I've ever felt on stage. Directors Jennifer Bashewall and Nicholas Depensier say they are deeply grateful for the opportunity to tell the story of the Tragically Hip's final tour. Great privilege for us to make um, and an extraordinary journey uh, that was intense and beautiful and rocking and emotional. The movie Long Time Running is one of 26 Canadian feature films at this year's TIFF. Meet some of the Canadian talent that will be featured during the festival. Today, TIFF celebrates all things homegrown with an impressive lineup that has the most Canadian directorial debuts ever. The festival is still four weeks away, but the excitement among this crowd is contagious. I've already bit my tongue twice, I've peed once, um, I've lost my voice, I ran and hid another time, so... And the festival hasn't even started. That's right, it hasn't started. Corey Bowles, best known for his work on Trailer Park Boys, makes his feature directorial debut with Black Cop. Knowledge of guilt or of innocence. Alias Grace is making its world premiere. Based on the award-winning novel by Margaret Atwood, written by Sarah Pauly, it stars Anna Paquin and Paul Gross. The other world premiere is The Carter Effect, based on how NBA All-Star Vince Carter made an impact on Toronto. As usual, there are many must-sees. Luck Luckies, starring Ken Hauer, is not to be missed. I play a gay, disabled, Guy looking for love. Director Wayne Wapamequa says he met Hauer at the festival in 2014 and promised to work with him. It's a film about five Vancouverites living on society's fringes during the 2010 Winter Olympics. TIFF officials are calling the long Canadian lineup impactful and should leave a long impression, which they say is a sign of our great Canadian cinema. TIFF's Pierce Hindling says today is one of the only times during the festival that Canadian talent is featured all together. Canadian cinema, I've always admired it and loved it because it is different. It actually feels like our own. It's our own voice. It's a unique, distinct voice. It's not American cinema. Dana Levinson, CTV News.